This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Have you guys heard of a book library? No, not, not the big community ones, the little ones that are on people's lawns. You probably have. But have you heard of a fiber library? So first things first, I need to get some yarn that I can trade. So back in 2021, this is when the mini fiber libraries started popping up. They were started by a local yarn store and they actually have an interactive map very helpful. When I look at this map, I can see there's about five in this one area, so I think that's where I'm gonna try to hit up just in case the first four aren't great. So I originally heard this concept from Haley where she went to her local mini libraries and read books from there. And when I was watching this video, I was very pleasantly surprised that the books in those libraries were grandma textbooks from 1920. And then I remembered there's fiber libraries near me. What if they are the same and they actually have good yarn? Is it in here? <gasps> it's down here. In this little mini garden. There's absolutely no yarn in this one. I guess the only thing they do have is like patterns in here. <sighs> this one is just all scrap fabric. I don't think there's any yarn in here other than, is this Benson? Golden Retriever. Okay, that's cl Benson's like kind of a golden retriever. This is sick. That was really fun. I want to go to another one. Maybe we'll go to all of them. How many was that? Was that three? This one looks empty again. Well, since there is um, nothing in here, I think I'm gonna stock this one up. I can't believe I found a dog, a knit your own dog kit that looks exactly like Benson. It's pretty much the Woobles 10 years ago, because I was actually doing some research of like when this kit's from. It says 2014, and then I started to look up online. And unfortunately, you cannot buy these anymore, so if you wanted to make this, I'm sorry, you cannot find them from the retailer. You can find it on eBay, but it's $50 plus shipping. They got jokes in here. How do you stop a dog barking in the back of the car? Put them in the front. What's black and white and red all over? An embarrassed Dalmatian. I'm just gonna take a quick break from this because today's sponsor is Squarespace. If you guys have not heard of Squarespace before, they are this amazing website where you guys can create your own professional looking website. I personally been using them ever since college and I use them right now for my website. Can I help you, Jack? Some of my favorite features about Squarespace is one, you can have an online store with physical and digital products. Two, with that online store, you can offer local pickup to your local customers. Three, if you're a designer like myself, but you don't need any products you want to sell. You can also set up an online gallery feature and showcase to your clients your best work. Head to squarespace.com slash Jenna Phipps to start your free trial. And then after your free trial, be sure to use my code Jenna Phipps at checkout and you guys will get 10% off your domain or website. Skim through the book and apparently this could be your first knit project ever, which I am having a hard time believing because it looks like this. Okay, let's knit. Oh no, oh no. Why is this so difficult? Oh. What happened? 
I couldn't find the end of the yarn. Oh no. This is pretty good. Look. Now let's separate. That was a nice 35 minute mistake. Okay, let's begin. This definitely is the smallest thing I've ever knitted. But pretty much the pattern has me working on the back right leg, back left, right front, left front, right side of the body, left side of the body, tail, the neck, the head. Oh no, then the tummy, then the ear, then the collar, then we sew it all together and stuff it. Don't lick it. Where'd you get the cone? Do you wanna go somewhere? I would say I would give you dinner, but it's an hour and a half away dinner. When I picked up this box this morning, I, because it was small, I didn't really think this would take very long. I thought if it was like Emma Goomer me, it'd be like two hours, dog, done. This took me two hours. Also, I had this fear last night. I don't know if it's gonna come true or not. What if I run out? Like, what if the previous person took half the yarn I needed for the body and then I work on this whole project and I don't have enough? I gotta say, after getting probably 30% of the way done, this is not beginner friendly. I, do, I don't know why they tell you how to knit in this book. <laughs> this is not a beginner project. Like I'm taking all these pieces and attaching them to my current work. And when I was a beginner my first time knitting, I just wanted to knit a box, let alone all these crazy shapes and adding pieces together. Oh, fun fact, I started reading a new book yesterday. Um, you, if you're a reader, you've definitely heard of this. It's called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I think that's what it's called. And I got through like the first 30 pages last night before bed and it's a good book. But yeah, I haven't finished it yet. So I'm recommending the first 30 pages are great. I don't know if the rest of the book's great, but it, the first 30 pages are good. But if you guys have other recommendations for books, let me know because I have a lot of books on my shelf here that I have not read and I would love to add more books to the bookshelf. Hi Jack, how's your day been? Date time. We have the right body. We have the left body. The legs have been sewn in as I made these body pieces. It's all kind of two pieces now, not six. So according to my instructions, next is the neck and the head. This looks like a freaking seal. <laughs> Next, we're gonna work on the tail. So last night I was reading this box. And there is a little description on the back here. And I was like, oh, maybe this is where I saw beginners. And it does say features a beginner knitting lessons. 
which I think is so strange. And then I kept reading, and at the very bottom of it, it says, with a few evenings of work, you'll have a covetal companion for life. I spent 10 hours knitting yesterday. Five hours the day before, I spent a total of 15 hours knitting this dog. This is what I have. I don't know if they mean four, five hour evenings and you can have this done, but a few evenings as a beginner, not a chance. Anyways, I have three hours to finish this dog, so it will be a total of 18 hours to knit this dog. Looks like a french fry. The legs are enclosed, even though it doesn't look any better yet. Okay, we now have uh... This looks very sad. starting to see a dog here. This is good. This is good news. I just finished sewing together the crotch and the butt. And when I went to stand it up, it fell over because one leg is longer than the other. Okay, so the reason why one leg's longer than the other is because I sewed the belly on not perfectly where it's slanted on one side, you can see. So that's why one's lower down than the other one. But I'm not gonna change that. I am too lazy, I'm not doing anything. It freaking looks like a seal with the paws. Also, the head looks like a seal too. This is doesn't look like this. I'm sorry, I just spent 18 hours working on this dog and it looks like a seal with one leg that's too short, like a partially amputated foot seal. Well, some of you guys all been waiting for. Here's Benson. Ding. One more try. Ta-da. Well, I feel like it kind of speaks for itself that it's pretty below average, this Junior. So, let's get some other people's reactions of Junior. Is how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The neck reminds me a little bit of Jack. Jack? Like a very thick neck. Yeah. I think the secret to this is really the shaving. So you could just give it to me for like a couple of seconds here. Yeah, see if you can fix it. Yeah. So yeah. The back looks really good. I think I adjusted the head more like Benson. You guys can like let me know in the comments. There. If I did better than Jenna. One leg is shorter than the other. I saw Jenna make this for like almost 20 hours. Yeah. I don't know how many evenings it would have taken me to make this. Um, not beginner friendly. Ready? Sit, sit, sit here. Sit here. This is the only time you'll ever be allowed on the table. Sit. Not paw. Sit. Sit down. Good. Oh, good boy. Okay, you can put it down. I, I don't need the paw. I don't need the paw. Sit, Resin. <laughs> You're so sweet. I'm just trying to get... What do you think, Benson? Oh, no, don't eat his face, don't eat his face. I was just trying to get a picture. Well, I guess it's Jack approved. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. No, 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 no. You're gonna rip him, stop it. Stop. Well, I do gotta say, I think it looks a bit better on camera than it does in person because in person he looks below average. 